Good evening and welcome into nice news. His Majesty the King discusses with the President of Chad developments in the region and the dangerous situation in the Ghaz district. The Prime Minister says His Majesty the King is leading intense efforts to stop Israel's offensive on Gaza. And the Health Ministry in the Gaza Strip says 40 Palestinians have been killed and 150 others wounded in Israel's latest attacks on the enclave. To the details, hello and welcome again. His Majesty King Abdullah discussed with President of the Republic of Chad, Mohammed Idris Tibi, developments in the region and the dangerous situation in the Gaza Strip. During a phone call, the King stressed the importance of reaching an immediate and permanent ceasefire in Gaza and doubling humanitarian aid to the Strip. King Abdullah also called for delivering aid without interruption or delay to avoid further worsening the humanitarian catastrophe unfolding there. His Majesty noted the importance of intensifying joint efforts to enhance the security and stability of the region and address regional challenges. He also called for creating a political horizon to achieve just and comprehensive peace based on the two-state solution. The two leaders also discussed bilateral relations and ways to further enhance joint cooperation. His Majesty the King congratulated the Chadian president on winning the presidential elections wishing him success in his duties. Prime Minister Bishr al-Khassawne said His Majesty King Abdullah has led an international effort to stop Israel's offensive on the Gaza Strip and halt its illegal and illegitimate actions in the occupied West Bank. Khassawne's remarks came during a joint press conference with his Palestinian counterpart, Mohammed Mustafa, following a meeting of the Joint Jordanian-Palestinian Higher Committee. The Prime Minister said there is no alternative to the two-state solution, which embodies an independent, sovereign Palestinian state on the border of June 4, 1967, with East Jerusalem as its capital. Hassan said the committee's meetings aims to enhance cooperation in the fields of energy, youth cooperation, digital economy, information technology, trade exchange, logistical support, and facilitating the flow and movement of goods and people between the two sides. Meanwhile, the Joint Jordanian-Palestinian Higher Committee held its seventh session today, co-chaired by Prime Minister Bishr al-Khassawne and his Palestinian counterpart, Mohammed Mustafa. Following the meetings, the two sides signed 14 agreements covering various areas, with the aim of strengthening and framing bilateral cooperation, especially in the economic field. Over to the Gaza Strip, where the health ministry there said 40 Palestinians have been killed and 150 others wounded in Israeli attacks just in the past 24 hours. According to the health ministry, Israel's unrelenting attacks on Gaza have killed at least 36,470 while about 82,780 Palestinians have been injured since last October. The number is expected to rise as rescue and emergency teams face challenges in accessing the affected areas, with thousands feared buried under the rubble of destroyed buildings. And in the occupied West Bank, Israeli occupation forces detained 20 Palestinians in large-scale arrest campaigns. In a joint statement, the Commission of Detainees and Ex-Detainees Affairs and the Palestinian Prisoner Society said the total number of Palestinians detained in the occupied West Bank has risen to over 9,000 since October last year. This figure includes individuals apprehended from their homes at military checkpoints, those who surrendered under duress and those taken hostage. The official spokesperson for the Jordan Armed Forces Arab Army said Royal Jordanian Air Force aircraft flew over Western Amman as part of preparations for the celebrations of the Silver Jubilee. The general command of the Armed Forces called on citizens not to circulate false rumours that would cause fear among the public without referring to reliable sources. Thank you so much for your time.